Paige, Kyle and Danielle talk to you about your relationship with Craig. I have so many thoughts and concerns and <clears throat> things I want to say. You don't feel like you're stringing him along. I don't you at all feel because like... I know I'm going to marry him. But, would, I but it's going to be on think, your terms. It's going to be on my terms. Degree. And like, if that's not OK, then OK, right. well, that's not OK for you. Because Thanks. you have his balls right. on a f***ing mantle. Right. Look, I, I would say Craig and I are close. And look, when he opened up to me, you would be naive to be like, oh, it's all just going to work out. I was a little thrown off just because I, th I thought they were on some sort of timeline. But I had a chance to talk to Paige about it. And that conversation got cut a little short because Danielle just kind of like, Pew. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yeah. I think you're giving him nothing. To tell someone they're giving nothing. <laughs> Like giving nothing, like, cause he, I think that he's like way more sensitive it's and- a little harsh. <laughs> what were you trying to say? For example, she would say, I'm looking for a new apartment and she'll shoot down looking at places together or, you know, having his input. She's like, it's my place. Find like a sick ass apartment, but it's outside of your budget, then I'll cover the outside of your budget part. We're not, I mean, we're not there yet. Yeah, I don't want to. But I was like, if, she, yeah, it would just freak Paige out. I think she's really proud of where she is and what she's done and what she's built. And she doesn't want to have to depend on Craig's paycheck or money towards rent. If anyone understands that the most, it's yeah. me. It was just more that it seems like she shoots him down if he wants to be part of something, you know, and feel like it's, you know, th them doing something together. You know, give him a room <laughs> or like um, a she section gave or- She a closet and that's huge. If Amanda and Sierra came up to me and said, hey, we think you give Craig nothing, I'd probably think about that and evaluate it. But when Danielle said it, I was like, wait, how many, like, have you met Craig? Like genuinely in my head, I was like, yeah. I don't know if you've ever hung out with Craig like more than twice. So I'm like, I don't know how you would even know that. Yeah. But also everyone's entitled to their opinion. I know how much I do for Craig and I could literally write a book on it. So I just kind of like ate it in that moment. I'm not holding your hand, reassuring you that I'm your girl. I feel like he you gotta be wants success. that though. Right, and I'm not that. I kind of like brushed it off because I was like, I don't think you know anything about literally anything. But that's your own journey and I'm not a part of it. <laughs> I think also, cause she had told me a couple things of like, she just wants you to be, I think more endearing when you when you speak about him. But I was like, but that doesn't that's, mean that. But that's also just like not my personality. Not, like no. even if it, I wasn't dating Craig and I was dating someone else, I'm not like, lovey I'm not dovey. your mom. Yeah, like not I'm not dovey. gonna tell you everything you do is perfect because it's no. probably not. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm gonna say what I feel. And I'd also expect the same thing from my partner. Yes, I want them to treat me like a princess, but like I make it easy for them. <laughs> but like I know in my heart and head like how much I've done for Craig in terms of like his self-esteem, in terms of like his health. I mean, I his changed outfits. his hair and he looks phenomenal. So I didn't really take that much offense to it. Not like the actual words she said, because I knew like she didn't know what she was talking about. So I wasn't even offended by that. I was offended at the audacity. Oh, Telling someone they're giving nothing <laughs> is not I don't think that the that's right way that... to deliver the line. So how how best to say it? A lot of what you just said. Yeah, well, that was long-winded as hell. Sometimes our summaries are a little bit harsher. Yeah. And like, you know, Paige and I don't have the relationship where she thinks that my intentions are necessarily the greatest, I suppose. And maybe that's why she took it. Like, what the hell? I also feel like Danielle is the type of person that kind of prides herself on being like honest and I say what I feel, but when you try and reciprocate that to her, she wants she, none yeah, of it. So yeah. it's really more, she's it's honest. One it's one-sided and like yeah. very selfish. Did that answer the question? Paige, you're, you basically reveal <laughs> that you get upset when Craig doesn't smell your armpits. Yeah. Yeah, I get really offended when Craig won't smell my armpits. Like sometimes we're like, oh my God, it smells so bad. You've got to smell. And he'll be like, why would I want to do that? But I get offended. I think pheromones are a very real thing. In my relationship with Craig, at one point I went off my birth control and I kept seeing all these things saying like, if you go off your birth control, your smell changes. So you might not be attracted oh, to, to that person's partner. pheromones yeah. anymore. And I was like, really concerned about it and wanted to see like what would happen. So like when we wake up in the morning, I like to smell his morning smell. 
and I want him to also want to smell my smell, and when he doesn't, I think that's offensive. <laughs> I smell amazing all oh the time. Oh my god. I want to be, feel that closeness. I have a great video of myself putting my nose in Paige's armpit and just <laughs> inhaling it. Yeah, that's not surprising. Don't make a big deal out of <laughs> nostrils and armpits and weird <laughs> when, you know, we're all adults. Or if you don't or like your boyfriend's sweat smell, yeah. you don't like him. Or you've gotten the ick and then the smell of them pisses you off. Or like even if they start to smell slightly, that pisses you off. And yes. then you're like, okay, can't And then like they're breathing and you're like, can yeah. you not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when you know the relationship is over. So I wanted to yeah. solidify that he still enjoyed smelling me. <laughs> yeah. Like I will put my face in someone's armpit. Yeah. I think that that's, I think that's normal. cute. Lindsay meets a balloon guy and invites him to the alien party. You remember him, right? No, balloon it's hard guy? to forget balloon boy. Wait, what is his remember? name, though? It doesn't matter. I like calling him balloon boy. <laughs> He's a fan. Joe. Like Ryan. It's Joe. Ryan, Brian, Joe. Joe! Where did you come from? Are you doing balloons? How, How are, are you? you? So I had met him and I was like, girls, like I met this guy, he's I'm hot. taken, but he's hot and someone needs to get on this. And I even was like, am I seeing things? The balloon guy might have been a great option for Gabby or Danielle. Oh, he's kind of cute. And every girl was like, nope, he's hot. Which nope, is exactly he's hot. what she told nope, me. Nope, he's hot. So I was like, okay, confirmed, he's hot. Even West was like, he's fing hot. <laughs> he looks good. Setting balloons up. And he works Hard. like a dog. Yeah, he's, he's always a, sweating that's his ass a, off. That's a balloon beast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a balloon beast. Guy can blow up a balloon. And he looks good out in the yard, like just trying to like set it up all sweaty. Yeah, he makes me look like a trash bag. Yeah, well, <laughs> especially when it comes to setup. Okay, I wasn't gonna bring up setting up for the party, but Jesse, dude, I tried to watch him hang a glitter thing on the pool house and it took him 14 minutes and he just looked around like he never set up anything in his mm -hmm. life for the fourth of july party like i just got there That's fair. You and asked. started partying one time I, we were in the house and someone was like jesse go hang up this balloon and contribute you're like okay <laughs> walked out and just like looked around at the ceiling for 10 minutes and then just like stuck some they had it the out wall. for me for some reason <laughs> on the setting up but he's very good looking man, so. I never got a look at his face. I was just looking at his balloons the whole time. Which ones? The big ones. <laughs> I trust that like when you, or like this guy's attractive, right. I'm gonna think he's attractive, right? right? Oh, you tr oh, you trust me on that? Oh, okay. Well, that's Sh good. Should I not? I mean, I don't know. I have a weird lineup, but did you find him attractive? He was cute uh, uh. in his balloon gear. A man is very different when he's on his job, when he's working, you know? He looks like he's in charge, da 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 It's like a, a job fish, a catfish a little bit. Like, he looks sexy, then he gets in like, not his work clothes, yeah. and I'm like, what the f are you wearing? Is that the balloon guy? Did he clean up and come to our party? Yeah. Wow. You're not as hot as I thought you were. Sorry, Joe. Not that you're not hot, but like. Sorry, Joe. Yeah. We did it, Joe. Yeah, we did it, Joe. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we, did it. <laughs> we got those balloons off. Yeah, Where I'm is gonna... he now, you think? You know, what's he in doing? Long Island. Where is he? He really like helped me finagle that alien party and I had like special balloons that I needed. Oh, and nice. That, that were gonna take me forever to blow up and he did it. Oh, good. Two seconds, he's a good man. We like Joe. I'm voting for him.